Good morning, you're watching Today in Parliament with me, Ashwarya Kapoor. These are the headlines. Discussion on motion of thanks to the President's address to continue in Lok Sabha today. Prime Minister Modi likely to reply to the debate. President addressed the joint session on 31st of January. Rajya Sabha also to continue discussion on the motion of thanks to the President's address today. Motion was moved by BJP MP Bhupendra Yadav on Wednesday. Minister of State for Parliamentary Affairs, Vijay Goel, to second the motion. And report of the Select Committee on the Ancient Monuments and Archaeological Sites and Remains Amendment Bill 2018 to be presented in Rajya Sabha. Members of Vinay Sahestra Budhe and Swapandas Gupta to present the same. Rajya Sabha will continue discussion on the motion of thanks to the President's address today. The motion was moved by BJP MP Bhupendra Yadav yesterday after Deputy Chairman Harivansh initiated the motion of thanks on the President's address to Parliament amid the protests by the MPs over various issues. And Prime Minister Narendra Modi is expected to reply to the debate on motion of thanks to the President's address to join sitting of Parliament in the Lok Sabha today. The House was scheduled to continue discussion on the motion of thanks on Wednesday, but Lok Sabha proceedings were adjourned for the day after paying obituary to sitting BJD MP from Odisha, Ladu Kishore Savai, who passed away late on Tuesday night. The motion was initiated in the House on Tuesday by BJP MP Hukum Dev Narayan Yadav. And our colleague Kriti Mishra is now joining us live from Parliament. Kriti, a discussion on motion of uh, thanks to the President's address is going to continue in both the Houses of Parliament today. Uh, you know, yesterday we saw the motion was introduced in the Rajya Sabha. Uh, what all is expected in both the Houses? Well, Ashwara, over the last three days, we've seen disruptions in the upper house. Now, yesterday, after the proceedings got disrupted at the behest of Chairman, HRE Minister uh, Prakash Javadekar sought to allay the concerns of uh, the members of the SP, BSP and also RJD as well as the left parties. And I remember uh, HRE Minister also clarified on the floor of the house that the government will bring will actually file review petition in the Supreme Court after its special leave petition was rejected by the Apex Court. The government has also said that it is committed to upholding the interests of SC, STs and the OBCs. But remember, the opposition members specifically of uh, the SP, BSP and the RJD are demanding that the government gets a bill in this session because they say that the present 13-point roster in the faculty recruitment of universities and colleges is faulty and it limits uh, uh, the, uh, the opportunities uh, for the reserved categories and they're demanding the restoration of 200-point roster system. So it remains to be seen whether this issue again resonates in the House. Otherwise, motion of thanks, the discussion on motion of thanks on President's address is later to be taken up. Now, yesterday it was initiated uh, by by, uh, BJP member Bhupendra Yadav mm. and it is expected to be second by Vijay Goel and several other key leaders are expected to make submissions in the house. Now it remains to be seen whether peace prevails in the upper house today. Eshwarya? And uh, Kriti, speaking about the entire budget session, uh, you know, uh, if, we could, if we include today, then five more days are really left uh, for the budget session to conclude and of course today the motion of the thanks on the president's address a discussion is going to take place and of course tomorrow is friday the day for the private member bills uh, so you know that means that uh, only three days really would be left uh, for the government to pass the legislative agenda under these circumstances what uh, are the key bills that the government uh, really would like to push forth in the budget session well, Ashwarya, Chairman M. Venkaya Naidu has been uh, giving a very didactic uh, message to all sides of uh, Parliament and also of the Upper House, saying that since this is the last session before general budget, it is incumbent upon all members to ensure that the House... Uh, functions smoothly and passes crucial bills. Now, there was understanding between the government and the opposition uh, parties on six important bills. The government is also trying to push four important bills. The priority of the government would be to... Bring, and bill which is, bring a bill which is to 
replace the ordinance on uh, companies bill which is also agreed upon by the opposition members of course the government has been mentioning that it is important uh, it is uh, on the agenda of the government to pass the anti triple talaq bill the uh, citizenship amendment bill and there are also important bills like the anti trafficking bill the personal law amendment bill and aadhar and other laws amendment bill so heavy legislative agenda as far as this session is concerned and of course there has to be discussion on motion of thanks and presence address and also discussion on the interim budget Ashwarya Absolutely as far as today is concerned of course uh, uh, all eyes really would be on uh, Lok Sabha especially because uh, it is expected that Prime Minister Narendra Modi will also reply to the debate on uh, the motion of thanks to the president's address so thank you so much Kriti for all those updates there from parliament and following ministers are going to lay papers on the table in the upper house today Jawal Oram for the Ministry of uh, Tribal Affairs Jitendra Singh for the Ministry of Personal, Public Grievances and Pensions. Ramdas Athawale for the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. Krishn Pal for the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. Vijay Sampla also for the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. Satyapal Singh for the Ministry of Human Resource Development. And also in the Rajya Sabha today, members V. Maitreyan and Rakesh Sinha will present the following reports of the department-related parliamentary standing committee on home affairs. and members uh, Vinay Sahestra Budhe and Swapan Das Gupta will present the report of uh, the select committee on the ancient monuments and archaeological sites and remains amendment bill 2018 in the Rajya Sabha and members uh, Amar Shankar Sable and Ram Narayan uh, Dudi are going to lay on the table a copy of uh, the report of the department related parliamentary standing committee on labor And Union Minister Jitendra Singh will make a statement regarding the uh, status of the implementation of recommendations contained in the 320th report of the department related parliamentary standing committee on science and technology environment and forest on demand uh, for grants uh, 2018-19 pertaining to the department of space And following ministers will lay papers on the table in the Lok Sabha today. Jitendra Singh for the Ministry of Personal, Public Grievances and Pensions. Manoj Sinha for the Ministry of Communications. Rajivardhan Singh Rathore for the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. Rajkumar Singh for the Ministry of Power. Radhakrishnan P for the Ministry of Shipping. SS Aluwalia for the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. And also in the lower house today, Union Minister Jitendra Singh will make a statement in the Lok Sabha regarding the status of implementation of the recommendations contained in the 320th report of the Standing Committee on Science and Technology, Environment and Forest on demands for grants for 2018-19 pertaining to the Department of Science. And that's it in this edition of today in Parliament. Do stay tuned. The proceedings of the upper house are going to commence in a short while from now at 11 a.m. Thanks for watching.